How are we doing everybody? This is the second edition of my weekly review show, newly named United Rewind. Thank you all for your name suggestions, but I've gone for United Rewind, that's the best one. And today is all about the 60th anniversary of the Munich air disaster that was observed beautifully in Old Trafford, in Munich, all around the world. I want to show you all the clips and videos from it, so let's get straight into it. So the 6th of February was the 60th anniversary of the Munich air disaster and 3,000 United fans travelled out to Munich for the memorial at the Manchester Platz, right next to where the disaster itself happened. And on the night before, it was certainly in good spirits. Then the day itself was beautifully observed at Manchester Platz. There was a massive, massive ceremony that went on. As I said, 3,000 United fans travelled. Lots of locals joined in as well. And it was a beautifully observed ceremony. And there was a wonderful rendition of the Flowers of Manchester that was sung by Tracy Malone. Here's a clip. Hi, England's finest football team. It's a record truly great. It's broad success as market by a cruel turn of fate. <coughs> Eight men will never play again. Home but destruction now. The flowers of English football. The flowers of Manchester. <laughs> And I just want to say all credit to United fans. Every single year, some United fans do travel out for this ceremony at the Manchester Platz, but that was a, a special, special ceremony. 3,000 Reds travelling over. And that's what, that's what being a United fan is all about. It's, the, it's not forgetting the core and the roots of the club, and that's exactly what these fans have shown. You know, we will keep the red flag flying high, and that's what the last 24 hours have shown. We will always keep that red flag flying high. But it wasn't just in Munich that this ceremony was beautifully observed at Old Trafford. Hundreds of Reds came to Old Trafford and turned up before a ceremony there and laid their own commemorations outside the plaque at Old Trafford. But inside Old Trafford, opposite the Stretford End, where the flag was laid out across the Stretford End, hundreds, if not thousands of Reds joined Sir Alex Ferguson, joined Jose Mourinho, the players, Sir Bobby Charlton for a wonderful ceremony inside Old Trafford. You know, it was, because it was a 60th anniversary, it was a special, special day. And having, you know, having Sir Bobby Charlton there, a player who came through, was one of the Busby babes, survived the crash, went on to win the European Cup 10 years later with Sir Matt Busby. You know, it will mean that bit more to Sir Bobby Charlton, that ceremony, that day, that memory. And for him to be there with Norma by his side, just makes it that little bit more special. Just like Harry Gregg being there, our goalkeeper who, when the crash happened, came out of the crash but ran back in to drag his teammates out, to drag everybody out, to help as many people as possible. We can't understand how much this day means to them, but we can understand how much it means to us and how much it means to Manchester United. And seeing so many Reds out there supporting and commemorating the Munich air disaster in their own way really was special. And just like out in Munich at Manchester Platz, there was a wonderful rendition of the flowers of Manchester inside Old Trafford. Here's a clip of that one. Roger Byrne and Tommy Taylor, who were capped for England's side. And Ireland's Billy Wheeler and England's Jeff Ben died. Mark Jones and Eddie Coleman and David Pegg also. They all lost their lives as it ploughed on through the snow. Big Duncan, he went to with an injury to his frame. And Ireland's brave Jack Branch Flower will never play again. The great Matt Busby lay there, the father of the team. Three long months passed by before he saw his team again. And as well as Manchester United fans, both in Manchester and Munich, joining in the commemoration of the Busby Babes, I've got to say something for how wonderfully 
respectful it was to see the likes of Liverpool, the likes of Arsenal, the likes of Bayern Munich, the likes of Manchester City. Wembley was lit up in the memory of the Busby Babes. Clubs all around England. Rivalry aside, this was a human disaster. And that really came across in a very heartfelt day of respect from everybody. So I want to say thank you to all the clubs for all showing your own respects on the 60th anniversary of the Munich Air Disaster. It is now 60 years on since the Munich Air Disaster. And while this generation of fans, myself, we haven't felt the direct pain of the Munich Air Disaster and the physically losing your heroes and, and what that could do to you, it's ingrained in the club, it's ingrained in us as United fans and we understand how important that was in, in the making of our club. It's in the roots, it's ingrained into Manchester United. And yesterday showed that that will never ever be forgotten and that's such a core part of being a Manchester United fan. And just overall to everybody who observed it so beautifully yesterday, well, well done. You know, it's 60 years, as I said, since the Busby Babes were taken from us. They are gone, but they will never, ever be forgotten. One cold and bitter Thursday in Munich, Germany. Eight great football stalwarts conceded victory. Eight men will never play again who met destruction there. The flowers of English football, the flowers of Manchester. Matt Busby's boys were flying, returning from Belgrade. This great united family are masters of their trade. The pilot of the aircraft, the skipper, Captain Thane. Three times they tried to take off and twice turned back again. The third time down the runway, disaster followed close. There was slush upon the runway and the aircraft never rose. Plowed in through the marshy ground, it broke, it overturned. And eight of the team were killed as the blazing wreckage burned. Roger Byrne and Tommy Taylor, who were capped for England's side. And Ireland's Billy Wheeler and England's Jeff Ben died. Mark Jones and Eddie Coleman and David Pegg also. They all lost their lives as it ploughed on through the snow. Big Duncan, he went to with an injury to his frame. And Ireland's brave Jack Blanche Flower will never play again. The great Matt Busby lay there, the father of the team. Three long months passed by before he saw his team again. The trainer, coach and secretary and a member of the crew. Also a sporting journalist who with United flew. And one of them was Big Swifty, who we shall never forget. The finest English keeper that ever graced the net. Oh, England's finest football team, its record truly great. Its proud success is mocked by a cruel turn of fate. Eight men will never play again, who met destruction there. The flowers of English football, the flowers of Manchester. Thank you.